What is up, everybody? It's Joe from JLW Games coming at you with another cool uh, live stream slash video. Today is the day. Your eyes don't do deceive you. We are in the Planet Coaster uh, 1.4 update, as it will pop up here in just a second. Uh, let's uh, maybe. There it is. All right. So here we are on the new stuff in the game. We got the new scenario editor, and we got uh, some new scenery items, of course. And new rides and coasters, I'm excited for that. Staff management building, and much, much more that uh, is not mentioned right there. New career set available. Whoa. <laughs> okay, so I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited as well as I am. And this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be heading into a custom scenario, and we're just going to take a look at all the awesome new stuff. So as you can see, there it is, custom scenario. I'm very excited for this. My scenarios, my parks, you can actually load up your own parks. Uh, let's see, my scenarios, downloads, my parks. All right, so you can see, you can actually load up any park that you already have and uh, put it in the scenario editor and edit it from there. So if I wanted to make a uh, scenario of like Westwood or something, we can do that. So that's cool. I love that you that they made it to where you can actually go in and edit your own stuff. Uh, if I wanted to make a scenario for Kuali Beach or anything like that, even on some of your downloads you can as well. That's that's actually really neat. neat. I'm actually very happy and excited for that. That's going to be nice. So um, lots of stuff that you can do there, but we're not going to be doing that. We're just going to start in a new scenario and uh, look at some of the new stuff that is going to be in here. So um, uh, along with the content as well, and I'm very excited to see that. So... So here we've got my scenarios, my parks. So we're just going to head into new scenario. We're going to do a custom biome. And we're just going to mess around with this. So I'm just going to uh, do some different stuff. I actually have uh, do some of this stuff sometimes uh, from time to time. Get some of my uh, favorite uh, things here. I'm getting some of my... Uh, uh, stuff that I want here. All right, here we go. This is going to be a custom scenario. Let's just call this one. Um, uh, I don't know. Let's enter park name. Let's call it Wendell City. That will work. Now, I've been wanting a custom scenario editor in this game since it came out. I said it would be an amazing part to add to the game it would never you know you, that way we have unlimited scenarios so to use because uh, you can upload them to the steam workshop and uh you can never get bored with custom scenarios so all right so what we're going to be doing is i'm going to create a small scenario with uh all the new content that's going to be my uh the idea here use the scenario creator to play around settings objectives all right setting up your park you control everything you can lock down your ride shop so you can even lock items and uh, within the uh, scenario editor I, I watched the live stream so i have a general idea of how to do this um so let's do it all right so here we go we got our little scenario editor box here I'm going to go ahead and pause the scenario. Uh, they said every time it starts, it will, it will always start on year one. So, here we go. Alright, so we're going to start with different things here. And we're on the objectives. So, we can change the objectives. I think I'm going to come back to that. And we are going to just take a look at some of this stuff. So, here's the different things in the scenario editor you can do. Yeah, of course, you can have they have all the different options. You can do a lot of different things. Time-based objectives, different things like that. You can set your park opening times, and then you can uh, check mark whether they can change the opening times, the player themselves. The breakdown rate to uh, figure out how often your rides go down, and then allow player to edit the terrain, and you can uh, charge for how much they edit their terrain. You can make it very pricey, or you can make it uh, free if you wanted to as well. So, getting stuff out of my way here. What is with this music? This is just like rock, man. Okay, so park capacity, and again, you can change it to where the, everyone can do that. Track restrictions. I'm going to try and skim through this because there's they've already gone through it on uh, Planet Coaster. We want to see some of the new stuff. I know that's that's for sure. 
All right, so here we got uh, different loans that and finances, all that stuff. Your starting cash. This is the something that I've been excited for. We could change the starting cash. I want that to always be higher. All right, and then what's researchable? What you start off with in the game, and all that stuff. Marketing stuff, staffing, um, just all those little. You you can customize everything here, and even how often you get like crime. Uh, people in there so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go away from that for right now and we'll go through that let's check out some of the new stuff um, let's guys check out some of the new coasters and also what you can do is switch the track on the coaster so what we got here is the new let's check out the Zenith right off the bat the Zenith is the uh, uh, new coaster which uh, here's the new wooden side friction where is the Zenith there's the cascade there it is right here and I've I love the trains on this so hopefully we can use this train for uh, other track types as well uh, not just this so I'm very curious to see how this one uh, plays out um, uh, functionality wise and how this all works uh, let's see what different things we have the top hat all right so you have your your pieces for when it goes up and over has the and of course I'm sure it has its own supporting then you can twist it upwards okay let's create a launch first obviously we're gonna do that all right so let's see hydraulic launch uh, let's throw in a block section first with an optional catwalk that way we can have it sitting out here and ready to go and then we can throw in uh, a hydraulic launch here and it looks like we can uh, do anything we want with this so if we wanted to create like an Entomin coaster or something you might be able to do that I mean we got the hydraulic launch here and we're just going to create a basic design uh, just kinda like a regular strata coaster here but of course you gotta have a long stretch to make sure it can get up to that speed and we're just gonna start off with uh, let's see how good these are and I'm sure you can make your own custom ones but uh, it won't have the if you do that it won't actually have the uh, uh, supporting structure on it that's what we wanted no it's not there's so many different twisties here All right, so we can just go straight up here. And then if I want, what if I want to twist this way? It looks like you can only do it at the very last second. Which is interesting. All right, we'll just make it this tall. That's over 400 feet, so that counts. All right, and then you can add the twisty section here. <clears throat> Looks like I didn't make it tall enough. Now, for now, we'll just make it like this. We'll mess up more with it later. Looks like the custom supporting is just kind of wonky a little bit here. Like, what are these two st structures? Actually, actually, that's not too bad. So it has its own uh, supports for the structures. I love how it has the elevator lift. That's awesome. Nice little touch there by Frontier. But the only thing is we probably can't create this um, without using the in-game pieces, which is kind of a bummer. But um, we'll see how smooth it rides. We'll give it a touch of King Daka here. And just like King Dika, we're going to start using brakes when it goes down the hill. Alright, so let's see. We're going to start using... Those are trim brakes. The magnetic brakes. Looks like you can't slant them too much. slant them as much as we can all right we're just gonna make it go down here 
Man, a lot lower to the ground than I thought I was. Alright, I'm just putting something together quickly. Oh gosh. I guess we're auto-completing. <laughs> Alright, we'll just throw in some di drive tires. Auto-complete. Alright, I just want to see what it does on the launch. That's all I'm interested in. So let's take a look and see how smooth it is on this uh, uh, on the end game pieces for that. That's what I'm interested. In. I didn't set the uh, launch speed here, so we might not make it up. I don't know. I don't know how fast it's gonna go. It can get in the hundreds. Yeah, it's not gonna make it over that. Oh, it might. I was not expecting it to. Yeah. It's, t it's not bad, but it could be better. What is the speed, launch speed on this? Target speed, 130 miles an hour. See, we probably don't have to go that fast. Let's go 110. And you can add the launch delay. Acceleration. Let's keep the acceleration high there. And let's see how it looks now. All right. Uh, fast forward just a little bit here. And here we go. Ready? Boom. We're going 110 miles an hour. Uh-oh. We're having a rollback, guys. Rollback. Does that actually stop? Slow it down? No, it, no, it doesn't. I honestly think it should actually, just like a rollback, have like an anti-rollback system where it will stop itself. It rolled right back into that station. That's kind of interesting. But yeah, it looks like you can actually use this besides using the towers. You don't have to use the towers for this. So if you want to create a different kind of launch coaster, you can, which is kind of neat. So you're not limited to just this kind of coaster. Uh, so it doesn't have to be kind of like that so that's interesting another one we want to look up here is we're going to take a look at the cascade this is the water coaster that is coming into the game and is pretty cool uh it's kind of like a i believe uh um mock style ride uh coaster here so we're just gonna create not really really a layout but we're just gonna create something here let's just do a 30 degree lift Interesting uh, support structures here. It just randomly has two straight pieces and then it goes back to this. I don't understand that. <laughs> Alright, so we'll just make it just over 100 feet. And then you can have all this uh, roller coaster stuff. Something that's also new is that you can turn off uh, coaster restrictions. So there's less coaster restrictions on uh, different rides. Which is kind of interesting itself. Which we're gonna have to we're gonna take a look at here in a minute. Alright, let's see what this looks like. Okay, that's gonna that takes it down into the water. I just wanna have a nice normal little drop. Right here. And uh, something interesting. We're gonna have a, we're just gonna throw a little pop of air time before you go into that splashdown. Just for fun. Alright, splashdown start. Okay. Maybe maybe not like that. Looks like it goes down. That's kind of interesting. All right, we got a splash down end as well. Then you go can go into a chain lift. Okay. What kind of chain lift is that? Oh, okay. So it's like a boat. You have like different, a lot of different options here. And then if we wanted to, we can make the rest of the thing possibly water. 
Well, it looks like you have to be a regular track here to continue it. Can I not go from water to track? It doesn't look like it. Kind of interesting. Ah, so it like changes. All right, let's let's get this sucker back home. That way we can look, take a look at everything and that's in store here. I'm just gonna auto complete it because I don't care about the last part of the ride at all. Alright, let's get up this lift hill. And here is the Cascade. A little pop of air time before you go right into that splashdown. Boosh. Oh, I guess the splashdown wasn't long enough <laughs> to slow down the boat. That's okay, but pretty neat. We got a nice little water coaster going on. All right, let's see what else we have. Um, I believe there's one other coaster. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think this is the last one. This is the wooden side friction. So this is a very old style kind of um, coaster here. And then after this, we'll get, we're going to get into... Uh, seeing the switching on some of the rides. All right, so very nice little wooden structure here. These probably wouldn't go very tall. It's nice to see a little classic touch on some of these sometimes. I kind of want to make this look kind of seems like more of a wild mouse wooden coaster in my book. That's what it feels like, anyways. Yeah, I'll ride the hydraulic launch again here in a minute. We rode it a little while ago, so... I just want to try and get to all the content here, because I'm on a time frame and I have to be at work in a little while, so... But I don't have to complete it. I just wanted to see what it looked like. Yeah, very old style kind of coaster. As you can see, there's no lapis train on this ride either. Wow, that's very old school. Alright, so back to the hydraulic launch. Uh, I currently have it set to where it's not going fast enough. So we're not going to make it up that lift. We're actually going to have a rollback here. It looks, it flows up there kind of awkwardly. It's kind of weird, like slow motion. I don't know what it is. But it looks like it goes up that hill very slow motion, like. Kind of confusing me a little bit. Like, watch. At least. Kind of looks kind of weird. I don't know. At least I thought it did. All right, one thing I'm interested in. Oh my gosh. Uh, why are people have to call me? No, now's not the time to call Joe. I am playing, playing coaster. Okay, so now we also have some flat rides. This one, I'm just like, eh. I don't even know if I'd ever use these. But we have the uh, whist Whisthorn, whatever it's called. And it, like, covers itself up, whatever it is. It goes around in circles. Kind of an interesting ride, but... I don't know. 
And then there was like a, a smaller version of it as well. Yeah, this one. Without the cover. Same thing, but without the cover is what it was. I feel like they could save themselves time because this is the exact same ride by just like going into an options menu uh, on this flat ride and just checking on, on and off if you want the cover rather than making it two separate rides. I feel like that'd be easier, but hey, I don't know. <laughs> what do I know? Okay, so those are the new flat rides. We also got new staff management stuff, which we'll get into later. Uh, let's take a look at some of the uh, switching of cars here. So a big request uh, is if you can have the Eurofighter um, uh, turn into the Zenith. So we're going to take a look at that right now and see if it's possible. Because it does have like a launch option, and the track is very similar to Intamin. Uh, but it's Girl Slayer. So here we go. We're going to take a look. I believe, let's see, it's probably under uh, scenario. Oh, there's a scenario. Editor. I didn't know that. Uh, so we're going to take a look at, uh, what would it be under? Customizes, maybe? Maybe customize? Unless I have to enable it somewhere. Which I just might have to do. I don't know. Because there's some new stuff here. Disable track limits. There we go. Allow more interchangeable coaster cars. Okay. Did that do it? <laughs> Possibly. There we go. Alright, so these are the different ones that we can put in. And the Zenith is available on this one. So we can do that that's awesome all right so i'm gonna head into the station here so yes you can build the zenith car in the on the uh gerslayer track eurofighter track which is cool let's see what other options are available in this one so we got zenith werewolf sprint 500 <laughs> Kind of some uh, interesting one. We got Invincible. Enigma. So that's the stand-up coaster. This is going to be... I think this is a huge game changer right here. We're going to be able to do a lot with this. For real though. We're, we're going to be able to do a lot with this. See, and you can also put the Looney Turns one on there if you want a different kind of restraint system. So you can see this is kind of like a, a mock style ride as well. Uh, I believe it's like their big, is it like their big dipper kind of ride? I don't know. It has the mock restraints as you can tell. Which is kind of neat. Hopefully we'll see more of that. All right, and we won't forget about the picnic tables slash benches for sure. We won't forget about those. All right, so that's neat. Let's see what we can put on the Zenith. I'd assume it's probably around the same thing. Close it up so we can actually take a look before it runs out of here. All right, so there's not too many options on the Zenith. We can't do too much. There's actually not that many that we can actually put on here. We put the Invincible Trains, which is another intimate style kind of car. So there's not a whole lot of options on the Zenith as of right now. Which is kind of surprising. I was expecting more on that one. Alright, so that's cool. Let's see, what, what other requests do we have for what other kind of coaster cars we can put on here? I was hoping to be able to put a spinning car on this one right here, but it looks like that's not going to be the case. I was hoping to. Would have been nice. That way I can make maybe like something similar to Time Traveler was kind of like my idea, but they don't have the spiral option on here. That's kind of upsetting. Maybe there's another one. I don't know. And then I was looking at this one as well, the... Uh, 
kind of like the spinning whatever it's called kind of coaster whatever it's not spinning it's called it's like a free fly coaster whatever it's called um let's see what we can do on this one we can do the cloud runner enigma there's like this huge gap i mean i can fix that but my gosh there's a huge gap there invincible the reason why i was curious about this one is kind of like this kind of has like that classic sns style kind of track to it so i found that uh would be kind of cool if i wanted to make like an sns coaster there's not many sns coasters really that have like this uh normal kind of track so you can even put the basilisk train on there black falcon what cars can you put on the mine train coaster? We'll take a look here in a second. Well, quite a few options on this one, actually. I'm kind of surprised. You can put the Zenith on there. <clears throat> I really like this option, and I hope they expand it even further. All right, so I got our request to take a look at the mine train and see what we can do on it. Let's take a look at it. All right, so we're going to go customize Canyon Runner. Alright, looks like we can go Vacoma. So that's the Canyon Runner. Uh, we can do the Vacoma, the Equalizer. So pretty much like all the Aero Coasters, pretty much. That's about it. Again, these have a little different of a track style. So the wheels are on the inside. So there's only a couple ones that actually would make sense. So those all make sense. So those are the ones that you can do on the Mine Train. All right, so what others? And we're gonna take a look at the RMC topper track because one thing I definitely wanted was to put the RMC train on the RMC or on the topper track here. So, and I'm sure you can, no problem. Yep, there it is, Malice on Chains. Thank goodness. Now I can actually have an RMC uh, coaster. Uh, RMC uh, train on an RMC track instead of having like the I think it was like the gravity group You actually put like normal uh, Wooden coaster ones on here, too. That's kind of funny Yeah, because I don't want a gravity group. I want RMC coaster trains Can you actually finally you can actually finally change the color of the coaster trains on this finally on the Malice uh, Unchained car. We can finally change the color on these. Thank you. Been waiting to do that for a long time. I'm glad they changed that. See, there's a, a couple little updates that we didn't know about that's also in there. Well, I don't know. Look, it's like the Joker. Or whatever you want, want, it, want it to be. <laughs> But yeah, we can change the color on that now. Thank goodness. We can actually change those coaster cars. That makes me excited. Alright, there's a lot of different things here. Um, I don't want to get into too many of these, but, um, but we'll figure out as we go along for sure. There's just a lot of options, so. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, like the fourth dimension. I wonder if this one has any interchangeable because it's got a very unique kind of wheeling system on it. If there's one that doesn't allow it, it would be probably this one. But there are some on there. Interesting how you can put like the... <laughs> it just doesn't use the outside ones. Okay. So you can pretty much put the Aero slash Vacoma trains on here. Test pilot. Which one's test pilot? Oh, it's the actual one. Okay. So quite interesting. There's a lot of different options. I'm very excited about those. And I can't wait to see. I already tried the Eurofighter coaster. Again. Alright, so those are the new rides and attractions. Now we're going to be looking into... Um, uh, let's see. Food and shops. 
Okay, so we're going to go into scenery and see where we can place picnic benches. That's something I'm curious about. We actually have new nature stuff as well, new uh, autumn trees. So that's going to be nice. We're going to have new trees. That's actually something they haven't added like at all. So it's kind of nice to see some new uh, trees in there. Doesn't look like any new bushes or anything. Like that. So, uh, if we go to park extras, I'd assume they'd be under here. Here's the picnic tables. It looks like we can only place them on pathways. So, let's make a pathway. Let's make a big pathway. And see how these work. Alright, so scenery... Try the torque. Oh, yeah. Looks like you can place these on... Anywhere on the pathway. So that looks cool. Alright, I'll try the torque real quick since a lot of people are requesting it. But just real quick. Because I did forget about that one. And that's a big one. Where'd it go? I'm in a hurry trying to find it. There it is. Alright. Alright, let's see what we can do with this one. This one's a big one as well. And I know a lot of people... You cannot change this one, period. Wow. That one's kind of a shocker. This one you can't change. Oh, you can show the coaster name now. That's something new on here. So we change the name here. And we can call it... Fire. Now, can you change the color of the name on the ride? Alright, it goes with that one. Alright, so that's kind of disappointing. You can't change anything on this coaster track. So there you have it. That one's kind of unfortunate. I'm actually surprised by that one. So that one is interesting. Okay, so going back to the scenery here. I will build a coaster. We're checking out all the new content first. That's what we're going to be doing. We just got to check out all the new contents. So we're going to take a look at all these park benches and picnic benches that we have available to us. We have a nice little stone one here. It's interesting. And we got the circular ones. These are recolorable, by the way. Or those are. Not all of them are recolorable, but most of them are. We got very generic wooden uh, picnic benches here. These are going to be very nice to have. Have I met, met the uh, Tim Trekker at SDC? I didn't direct, uh, kind of, didn't directly meet them, but I did, uh, did see them, of course. And I actually watched their video. Pretty good. Pretty good stuff. Alright, so there's quite a few in here. What else do we have? We have the, uh, kind of like the generic stuff, of course. Oh, and they have, like, different all the different styles that you had in, like, the benches, too. And we have nice... Ah, we have nice little umbrellas and canopies now. Which I'd assume you can place on top of these, yeah. How nice is that? I didn't know that there was going to be umbrellas like that. Of course, I didn't pay attention that much. We got a little pirate one as well. That's cool. Here's a sci-fi-ish kind of park one as well. But there's a lot of different ones. Uh, I'd like to see maybe custom billboard ones. That would be nice. Oh, these are billboards. Sweet. My questions have been answered. So if I wanted this to be a Westwood uh, <laughs> canopy, I can do that. Oh, gosh. Gotta press OK. Look at that. It's a Westwood canopy. That's neat. So these are billboards. I didn't know that. That's kind of neat that they threw in the threw in the custom uh, ones as well. And I like how there's a lot of different options too.
Alright, so you can like place these on the sides of them. Kind of like this, if you're using these. And the umbrellas can go on top of them if you want. Wherever you want them to go. I like that. I like the uh, that we have custom billboard ones. I didn't even know that. Pretty cool. Alright, so... Um, picnic benches and tables. Those are really nice to have. I like those a lot. Those are those are pretty nifty there. Okay, so something that's also new is the uh, some of the management settings as well. So we'd have new uh, f a new facility for staff management, and they already have some uh, cool stuff here. It's almost serves as a break room kind of, so your employees can refresh themselves and everything, uh, take a break, and someone can take over. If you have no one for them to take over, the shop will temporarily close until they get back. So, little buildings like this. So, this means we can kind of create backstage areas, and uh, you can make it to where guests don't go back there, because there was, like, a new piece as well, scenery piece, where you can uh, make it to where block... Oh, this is something else that I was excited about, where you can actually block guests from going... I want to say it's under scenery. There's actually pieces to where you can block, where you don't uh, cross over pads, and the guests will actually go away from it or around it. I don't know where they'd be though. I'd assume under scenery, if I had to guess. Take a wild guess. Uh, maybe not. I don't know where it would be. I got screens, art shapes. Props. Under props. Here we are. So it's these. These little curbs here. And uh, these, allow, uh, they will actually walk around these. So I don't know if you can actually, if you put them down far enough, if you put them under the path, if they'll still go around it. Let's see. And you can change the color of these as well. So if I wanted nobody to use these benches... I can just place these around here. <laughs> Something like that. So this it's also a nice little touch. These are uh, little barriers that they will actually walk around to. So that's nice. And I actually like this. This is kind of like the... Uh, these would definitely look good on like uh, lines. If you're trying to make a line for, uh, for something. Like a queue for a ticket kiosk or something like that. It'd be kind of cool. Alright, so those are also new as well. And I don't know if there's many other... Um, hmm. I don't know if there's much more to this. Uh, if there's any more scenery items or not. Building wise, I don't think there's anything building wise. At least they haven't said anything. So, interestingly enough, that's about it for the update, I believe. So, a lot of people are complaining that it's a, too small of an update for to be an anniversary update, but I'm very excited. I think they added a lot of good stuff in here that's going to be really, really nice. Park management wise, especially the big one is the scenario editor. And you said, how come they didn't add Intamin first generation freefall ride and Planet Coaster update? I don't know, because they didn't add it. <laughs> I don't see why you're asking me. I'm not a developer. <laughs> stuff will... Um, stuff will come in through each and every update. There's, also gonna, there's always going to be new stuff coming in. And I think some of this stuff is very huge news, so... Without further ado, we're going to try and build a awesome scenario here. So I'm going to go ahead and delete everything. And we are going to build just a small scenario. My hopes is to be featured. I want to create like the best scenario ever. Anyways. It's like my goal. Alright, so what we're going to do is build like a maybe a coaster or two. Uh, and see how that all works out. I, I'm v again, I'm li very limited on time, so I'm not going to do anything ginormous or anything. Here's another cool thing: you can actually set where you want to place the uh, 
uh, peep spawner or the guest spawner so you can place multiple ones put them wherever you want as you can see we can actually get into the pathways here and edit these pathways now which is very cool so if I want I can place the entrance somewhere else and you can also set like uh, the boundaries and stuff so what we're gonna be doing is I'm going to take a look at a park dimensions and guest spawn points so as you can see now as we go into here we can actually change how big the park can be used how much space can be used and I'm curious of how big this can get it looks like that's the absolute biggest we can get I don't know if that's any bigger is that bigger than what we are used to having All right, and this is the height. So you can go a maximum height on on everything too. So if you have a height barrier, you can make it hard on your on your challenges, on your scenarios to where they have a height limit as well. So I think the highest we can go is 2050 feet. Is that what that means? All right, so we can go length here as well. I believe this is is a little bit bigger than what they've supplied us with in the regular stuff as well so that's going to be actually very key so now we have a little bit bigger of a park space to work with actually which is actually very nice because i needed just that little bit more uh, for my silver Dollar city recreation as well because i was just barely small too small so that's nice uh boundary offset z direction Preview opacity. Okay, gotcha. Um, I don't know what that is. Uh, how low you can go? Oh, yes, that's how low you can go uh, uh, when you're uh, using the terrain editor and stuff. So, we're that's, that's pretty neat. Alright, so for this specific one, we're going to make this a little bit smaller see what a thousand looks like that's a thousand uh, and uh, the height length so if we did a thousand by a thousand that's how big it would be so we can make it like a tiny park that's what we're gonna do we're gonna make a small park and then we're gonna make the height a little bit lower as well Let's see, let's make the max height 500. Well, not 500. Let's make the max height... We can stick with 1,000, because that's not super tall. And then we can add our spawn points. This is where our guests will spawn into the world. So the guests will spawn through here. I believe which way does it go? I don't know which way it goes. Let's see. Am I able to make this part of a building? Yes. All right. Edit building. I don't know know which way they're gonna spawn through. Is it gonna spawn? I see the arrows pointing this way. So. No, they're going to go this way, it looks like. I can't tell. I want to say they come from this way. I can't remember. <laughs> I mean, it has arrows, but something tells me they, they started pointing this direction, so... Alright, but... Uh, again, we are going to be... This, the point of this... Um, we're going to be working with a small area. And that's going to be like the idea with this park. Is working with small areas. Alright, we're going to create a basic entrance. 
just for fun. Because I want to use some of the uh, new management features as well. I know it has arrows, I understand that, but the arrows are pointing this way, and I don't think they come from that way, I think they come from this way. Because I think they come out this way, otherwise it, why would the logo be on the back? And everything. But we'll find out if it's if it's backwards or wrong, we'll fix it later. But for right now, let's let's build this entrance. I'm just going to create a basic entrance. I don't know if this will be anything that I'm going to put on the Steam Workshop or anything. I'm just putting something together for fun. So we're just going to put a basic entrance and we're making our boundary size a lot small, really small. Uh, to make things a little more interesting. Again, I want to build some really awesome scenarios. That's going to be my goal. I want to build some really cool scenarios. I want to build some of the best scenarios out there. That is my goal. I am committed. I'm going to build like the best scenario out there. For you guys to play. To keep you guys entertained. Because it's going to be one heck of a ride. I actually think I'm going to use the slimmer version. Change the grid size. That way I can put it halfway in here. Perfect. Oh, that's too steep. Whoa. Alright, so I'm just going to create a basic entrance. We're just doing everything basic here. We're not going to uh, make anything, everything look ridiculously detailed because uh, of time restrictions but um, because I have to uh, leave and be ready to work in about an hour and a half so and I still haven't ate any breakfast <laughs> I got straight up and went straight to the computer and said I am ready alright so again just a basic entrance just add a couple details so it's not too bland or anything. And that's what we're going to do. Alright, so now we're going to go shops and facilities and add the entrance pieces here for this entrance. That's where the entrance of the park is going to be. And uh, let's add just a couple more details. I'm thinking about doing a... Uh, story park like this but uh adding like that way we have cash to work with i've almost always all also also the thought of doing a story park uh with uh, using golden valley in this as well i don't know we'll see i just have some uh interesting ideas floating through my head right now again not starting too many projects at once like i'm famous for some exciting banners and then we'll just put some doors here on the ends and then uh, I think I will make some uh, nice scenarios for like Westwood and stuff that'd be fun challenge uh put some challenges up for it that'd be kind of fun and uh interesting all right put some lights on the side here all right so our park boundaries right here 
I'm going to put this just outside the park boundary so you can't mess with it. I'm also going to lock this uh, for players. That way they can't actually mess with it. Just because I mean like that. So if you want to innovate this entrance, you can't do it. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, so we have a lot of ideas. Again, the basics of this is to try and show off some of the new features and different things like that. So we're just going to create a small park um, with a couple of rides and uh, maybe a roller coaster or so. So I'm just going to make like this kind of like main square here. Again, crunch time. Can't detail videos or can't detail everything too much here. So I might even use some blue blueprint items just uh, to try and get through this quicker. Do I have any fountains? This is a beautiful fountain. It actually fits in there pretty well. So why not? These world axes. Again, just basic. We're not going <laughs> to go crazy with stuff right now. And then we're going to... Let's go ahead and build some... All right, this is locked, so these are going to be locked as well when I put them in. We'll keep that in mind. We're going to make just a small main square here for the park. So when you enter, there's a couple of shops and different things like that. I have a shop there. And a shop over here, but we're going to make this one a different texture. Actually, we'll just change the color. It's going to be a light blue building for, like, Cosmic Cow or something. And that nature. We're going to create some backstage areas as well. Because that would be nice. And I want to put the, like, uh, staff building in, like, a, uh, uh, something like that. So, again, this is going to be a small park. It'll be really cool. So we're going to add a couple shops here at the entrance. Maybe a gulpy shop here. That's what we'll make this since it's green. All right, let's make this just a little bit different sized. And we'll put another shop over here. Let's do... Let's do something yellow. It's going to be very symmetrical. And uh, pretty colorful as well. So, pretty symmetrical. Let's get the shops and facilities in there. Trying to skim through the shops as best as I can. That way we can get to more exciting stuff. Alright, we'll put a chief beef over here. We'll put a gulpy soda over here. Alright, and then something that's blue is, uh, of course, Cosmic Cow Milkshakes. So we'll put that over there, and then something yellow... Uh, just a memento over here. So that way we have our food and some gi a gift shop. All right, let's just build a, some quick roofing on these real fast. I'm going to go ahead and just use flat roofs. Because those seem to be the easiest.
and then we'll add uh, like a uh, uh, a piece of wall going on top around it and that will actually do very well but we're only gonna have like a ride or two in here and uh, we'll go from there all right so let's use this piece change the color of it to white so it matches everything it's just gonna outline the roofs here it's just a lot simpler and less complex than using uh, pitched roofs which can be a little difficult if you don't do it right all right and this over here That way we have just a little bit of a main, not main street, but like a little square at the entrance. But I'm going to do a lot more complex scenarios and stuff. Um, this is just an example park real quick uh, to see what we can do in the update. Alright, so the barriers and everything. I'm going to put those up there. But no, I'm going to do really deta really fun detailed stuff. For you guys and everyone around just put a couple of covers here and then some signs so we got a chief beef let's do some shop signs over here and we got a uh, chief beef chief beef belief all right over here And then we got Gulpy Soda. Try to put some of these neon lights over here. Glowing glow stuff. If I can find it. That one glows, that one glows. I don't think that one glows. This one. Alright, so we have just a memento. Not too many options for it, so we'll just put a big sign there. And then we have Cosmic Cow milk sh Milkshakes, which we'll put this about right there. All right, I, I'm going to try. Uh, we're going to try and uh, get into the, the rides now, since that is going to... I might detail those later, but for right now, we're just going to get into some rides. And to get started, we're just going to place a quick uh, Ferris wheel at the end of this. But I'm going to build the uh, pathways around it, so... Alright, so we're going to take this, move it, and we are going to place it just up against here. We're just going to have an entrance and exit. That'll be nice and simple. Again, not going to do super heavy detailing. Create a little space here for a queue line and such. All right, so let's make a queue line. Deselect the grid. We're just going to throw up all of these so we can use them. And let's use this pathway and then select this grid. So we can make a beautiful queue. Deselect grid, and then we will angle snap you, make sure you're straight. 
right there. And then we will also build a regular pathway. For the exit. Beautiful. Okay, so now we're going to build a unique coaster. And I want to use one of the new coasters for this, obviously. And I do want to use the Zenith. Uh, for sure. But we're not going to use the Zenith for... Uh, let's see... We're going to we're going to use the Eurofighter um, track with the Zenith. Uh, we're getting a lot of quests for a, a Blitz coaster, so we're going to do this. I don't know if it'll work. The, hopefully, it'll work the way I want it. But um, So this is not this is going to be kind of a smaller ride just uh, keep that in mind. Again, we have a very small window to build stuff in at the moment because that's the way I want it. Okay, so before I get into it, let's uh, make sure that we have this long enough. So we're going to go and put on the Zenith car and we are going to build this station out just a little bit longer. And we want uh, relatively shorter trains. That'll be long enough. So we're gonna go to utilities. So we got the Intamin style kind of car going here. With the... Uh, uh, with the... Uh, Gerslayer Eurofighter track. See what we, if we put some drive tires on there. Nope. Um, we're gonna use this, and we're just gonna have it roll out nicely here. All right. So we'll do that, and then we will enter a uh, kind of a lift hill here. We'll just go 30. We'll actually use the linear synchronous motors, uh, which actually has to use that track. Which is kind of interesting. But that's okay. We'll deal with it. In fact, I need to have the catwalk on here. It's not going to be super tall. Because it's going to be a multi-launch coaster. And it is going to be... More of that Intamin Blitz feel. I'm going to go ahead and put Kyat Walks all the way around here. And then if I was really working on details, I might even, would probably even make my own custom supports for this. But due to time restraints, we are just going to use the end game supports. Because I want to build a scenario, and then I also want to get into the scenario before I leave as well. That's my goal. We're just going to do something real quick, real easy. So we're going to build this drop at least 90 degrees. At least. All right, should we go beyond 90 degrees here? Maybe just a little bit. I have to get rid of some of these supports. They're just everywhere right now. <laughs> All right, that works. All right, we're going to go ahead and add a, some banking offset. Maybe we can get a little bit of the heart line for the ride. We'll change the color scheme too, by the way. All 
A lot of people are saying an overbank or a ZRG roll over the main street. I don't know about right over the main street, but... All right, we're going to start the test. I want to see how this kind of flows on this track. I'm very excited that we have this coaster car now, though. And it's just going to shoot up this lift, which I haven't changed the settings yet. So, we got to change the settings on these. Target speed, let's go at least 45 miles an hour uh, with some good, decent acceleration here. I don't know what this song is, though. The sky behind the clouds. I, I just, that's all I hear right now. All right, we're going to go directly into a bank curve or turn here. Then we're going to bank back this direction. Bank directly to the other way. What I'm going to try and do is line it up behind the Ferris wheel. We're not going to go over the main street, but we'll do something cool here. So we're going to start going up. Hopefully this turns out the way I'm hoping. And go smaller segments here. And then we're going to do an outside bank. Just going to bank it over here. Hopefully this will look cool. After we smooth it out, it'll, of course, start to look better, but... Looks rough around the edges at the moment, but we'll fix that. Don't worry. For those that are worrying. I don't know if anyone's worrying, but... We're going to stay low to the ground. This isn't going to be a very long ride or anything. Just keep that in mind. Kind of want to throw in a quick roll here. That way it has at least one inversion. As so I will pass back underneath here. Whoops. Too much banking. Alright, let's go back and smooth a little bit before we get too far. We're going to go ahead and smooth this section out. I know we'll probably get rid of some of the heart line, but that's okay. We just need to smooth out these transitions. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm leaving. You're leaving. Okay, I'll see you there.
Did you want to say hi? <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. All right, for real though, I don't have a whole lot of time. In fact, I'm gonna double check my schedule. <laughs> yep, two o'clock. That's when I go in, and it is 11:40, 11:50 right now. All right, so we're going to smooth out some of these transitions, of course. No. All right, this roll will turn out good, hopefully. It's a custom inversion. And we all know Joe's perfect at custom inversions, right? <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, I'm going to head back over here towards the beginning of the ride. Make these transitions flow a little bit better. Now... All right, we're going to continue the the journey here. All right, so straight from this, we're going to uh, throw in a pop of airtime. Because I love me some airtime. Just going to throw in this turn. Kind of will go up and down. Alright, so we have some of this going on here. This will be nice. Smooth out this hill. We'll probably lower it just a little bit, but that's okay. Now we're going to put in a second launch real quick. We'll see how this turns out. Linear synchronous motor. Actually, we're going to put in some block breaks. Now we'll put in the linear synchronous motor. And this isn't going to be, again, high-skilled. It's not going to be, like, as good as Maverick or anything like that. It's just here to really just go. All right, uh, we'll go one less there. I actually kind of want to put in something different here. Not that, though. 
There it is. M1. Because I'm trying to get turned back around properly here. And this inversion just might work. For what I want. Let's actually turn the other way here. That way I can start twisting the other direction. Because we're gonna we're gonna have to go back to the get back to the station, so So we're gonna wanna start heading back towards that and get and get into a break run here. Hopefully. Alright, so we're going to create a quick break section here, so that way we can prepare. Get a block section going, and then some magnetic breaks heading into our way. Pretty steep breaks, too. That way it can come to a complete stop. Again, it's going to be a kind of a shorter ride, so... Um, the second launch is not going to lead to much. Again, I'm not doing anything ridiculous today. We're just checking out the new features, so I'm just trying to create a quick and uh, nice little park that's, you know, it's going to be nice. Because I want to get in, uh, in the scenario mode and actually play along with it just a little bit. Alright, we're going to place the exit as well over here. And let's get an exit path going here. We're just going to have this climb above the uh, brake run. And go down. Alright, now to create a basic queue line. Not gonna have a whole lot of theming or anything. We're just gonna have some switchbacks. We also need to make a staff management building, which I think I'm going to put back behind here. That would be kind of cool. Alright, so we're going to select these grids. I'm actually going to build this pathway out. Alright, we'll go 2 by 2 here. We'll also implement some uh, benches as well. Alright, let's add a couple of tr decorative trees in here. Why not put in some new trees? The autumn trees. Perfect, right? Oops, I guess I can expand this out here. Probably just use some in-game uh, railings and stuff.
Alright, so we'll place this here. Nice. Alright, so we got a coaster. And you know how we decorate coasters here at JLW Games. More trees. I'm actually going to change the color scheme of it uh, as well. I need to create a quick station building for the uh, ride as well. That's right, I can place... I can make an environment outside the border. I forgot about that. Let's add in some new colored uh, trees in there as well. Just add some more color. It'll look pretty. Pretty cool. And pretty. I like it. That way you have more than just green around here. All right, how are we doing on time? It's 12 o'clock. Man, I don't have much time left. <laughs> that makes me sad. So we're going to have to start wrapping it up very soon. I at least need to get a bowl of cereal or, some or something in me before I head to work. That's for sure. All right, I want to do something on this other side here, and then we'll call it a scenario for now. That way I can actually get to playing inside the scenario. That's my goal. I want to play in the scenario uh, before this is over. Kind of test it out a little bit. All right, I'm going to put place one more ride over here. Uh, what ride should we go with? Should we do uh, the new ride? Just because it's new? <laughs> For the sake purpose of that it's being new. That it's new. Just to clarify, I'm not leaving for another, like, I don't know, 45 minutes, but um, I, I just want to uh, be able to get into the scenario. Alright, so... Just for the sake of showing off new stuff, I'm going to use the new ride for this. And then I also want to create a little picnic area. So we can use those new benches. Alright. Let's get rid of that. Place the queue and... We're gonna... Do it like that. Make it look more natural. Get rid of the angle snap so I can put it wherever I want. <clears throat> okay, so for this, we're going to select this grid and we're going to use uh, natural pathways. We're just going to make this big, beautiful yard for sitting around and eating your food. All right. 
So it's just going to be this uh, using the natural stuff. And this is all pathway. I love that. <clears throat> Alright, so now... Yeah, a new update is out. Download it immediately. Get ready. And uh, start building new scenarios and stuff. Okay, so I think I want to use the circular tables for this. And let's make them kind of like a wooden brown color. So we're going to place these around here. Man, I have the freedom to put them wherever I want, which is awesome. I want to go every two here. Trying to keep it uniform here. We might add some more as well later, but for now. Place all these picnic benches here. And we are actually going to clear out a path Or a spot here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and head into shops and facilities. Edit this building, make it a part of the same building. And we are going to go to shops and facilities. Going to add some hot dogs to the mix along with some energy drinks. And we're just going to cover this up very quick. It's just going to be a small stall. And I want to use some wooden textures here. But again, this will just be a small stall. And we will go ahead and use pitched roofs here. And we will just use these. So it'll be quick, easy. And look at that. Beautiful. Starting to come together. This is going to be a nice little cozy little park. Again, I'm just building this real quick. Just to sh uh, show off like the scenario editor and stuff. We're not making anything huge or anything ridiculous. Just a tiny little park. I'm going to set a couple of objectives, and then we're going to go in and play it. That's why I'm trying to wrap this up a little bit, so we have time, so I have the time to go in there and play it out a little bit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into some pathways. We're going to get some fences up here. So that's what we need to do. So we're going to throw in some fences. I'm going to create a... Uh, go ahead and build a staff building as well. Because we do need to do that. Let's go ahead and put a fence around this. Why not? And throw in a couple of trees spice it up a little bit. Not too bad for just throwing together a quick park, I might add. 
I think it's pretty decent. Alright, so now we're just going to build a very fast, very basic station. Uh, accidentally, look at that, those test ratings though, pretty good. Alright, so we're going <clears> to <throat> edit the building. And we're just going to create a base, very, very basic uh, station here. So let's start with the... This here. Could even make an outdoor station if I wanted to, if I wanted to be very lazy. But we're not going to be that lazy. We're at least going to build something. Alright, let's just go with a wooden texture building here. That uh, will have a nice... Let's go with a nice wooden color here. <clears throat> make some... Make these look like windows. Being somewhat creative, uh, 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 putting something together really fast. That way it doesn't look... Or that way we can get some air flowing through here. Alright, let's get some arches in here real quickly. And safely. I accidentally put that there. I don't know why I did that. There we go. And we'll just do a flat roof, just for time's sake. Let's do one of these wooden flat roofs. And we'll do a similar thing that we did earlier. We'll just outline it with uh, uh, walls. Just do a small piece here. Very basic. Because I just need to get this going and completed. <laughs> very basic station, very square station, but hey. <clears throat> Alright, so now we're going to add a uh, staff building here. So what we're going to do is go shop and facilities. We're going to go staff management. And I'm going to add, let's just do one for now. Going to go building. Uh, we're going to go archways. And we're going to keep our staff as happy as possible. For sure. Alright, where's this texture at? I can't find. Not to be perfect, we can just use this. And then just follow up like so. Alright, so we're literally just gonna add on to this building and make this like our break room for our employees. All right, let's quickly change the color scheme of this so it's a little different. I want to make it red because red's one of my favorite colors. So we'll make the track all red with... Let's do black supports. And let's change the color of this car for the most part. Let's get some yellow seats. Let's get some yellow in there. <laughs> and we'll call this uh, 
Duh. Yeah, we'll write in just a second, by the way. We'll just call it... Uh, I want to call it something force, just for fun. We'll call it Jet Force. That's a cool name. Can show coaster name on it. Look at that, Jet Force. I like that they added that. I would like to see maybe someday like a um, something awesome like a. Oh, what am I trying to think of? Something awesome like a billboard functionality. That'd be kind of neat. There we go. We're gonna add a couple more. Uh, I don't want to cover up the uh, the iconic coaster here, so we're just going to place some low standing trees around here. Alright, so back to the picnic benches real quick. We're going to get some covers for these. Just going to use some beautiful umbrellas. And then we're also going to place down a lot of uh, litter bins, trash cans and stuff. Glad th this is a thing now. That's very offset. Everyone's gonna love their picnic benches. With umbrellas. <laughs> but again, if you have joined recently, again, we're not going for like super detailed right now. We're just kind of throwing stuff together as best as we can real quick. Place some litter bins on the sides here. Hopefully people won't throw their crap around in my park. No trash in this park. Alright, so that's those. Let's place a couple more regular park benches around. Like that. Beautiful. All right, now a couple more bins, and we'll be in good shape. I'm excited to see this in action. All right. I think for the most part, we got everything we want. We got the shops. We got the staff management. Let's take a look at this. Capacity. Perk. Building and applying a perk will give certain benefits to your staff. Healthcare will be more resilient against being overworked. Entertainment will be more resilient against being underworked. Social club. Happiness faster. Learning resources. Training date forward. That's cool. We'll have better detection rates. Okay. Nice. Confirm changes. Alright, so we got a nice little tiny park going on. And that's the idea. And without further ado, let's ride this roller coaster. Let us roll, yo.
Made a quick Entomon Blitz coaster. Beer. Say hello to Jet Force. It's very blocky and jerky. Oh gosh. I didn't smooth it out enough. <laughs> Yep, didn't smooth it out enough. You see how it whips over that top? Oh gosh, unrealistically. But, oh well, it was, it was just a quick build just to have fun with it. And this is just uh, for fun thing. And hopefully, all right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set all the scenario stuff. So let's take a look at some object objectives. So our bronze objective, let's see, let's go with Let's go guest count, simple one. Let's say we want to have, let's have 500 guests in the park. Set another condition. And uh, you can have a deadline for this. Let's make it by March year two. So you have a year, um, let's make it a thousand. I feel like 500 is going to be easy. You do deadline over time. Minimum average happiness. There's a lot of different things in here. You can do multiple conditions too. All right, so let's take a look at the. Let's go. Let's go confirm. So attract a thousand guests. All right, so medium or the silver tier. Let's do, let's make this one a guest count for the entire thing. Just something simple and easy for right now. Deadline, let's make this one year three. Confirm, and then the gold. This is gonna be an easy one, by the way. And the gold, we're going to go um, guest count again. And gold will go 2,000 guests. Let's actually go 1,700. Right. Okay. And then deadline, this one will be year four. So at the beginning of the year four. confirm and now we got objectives done all right so that's good allow player to switch out between times no disable track restrictions it's good scenario start time 9 a.m park wide breakdown rate we'll just leave that as it is terrain cost we'll just sure <clears throat> that'll be fine finances Let's start with, oh, we can stay with 10,000 since we already got stuff built in here. Refund multiplier, amount of ride scenery items cost refunded when deleted. Yeah, we'll keep those. So we'll make sure these loans are available, 2,000. There's a $1,000 loan and a $10,000 loan. We'll just have two loans, and then you can have one active as if you've taken out a loan already. We won't have a loan active right now. And then we can do the researches, unavailable, and we can do stuff that's already unlocked. So let's go ahead and add selections here. Stuff that's researchable here. And the Collider and Tri-Storm can already be available. Let's make Iron Claw here. 
So it looks like all the coasters are... Not all the coasters, but... The Zenith, we'll add there. The Gnarler. Then you can actually make a group, like say, I think it's after this one, you can't research one until this one's researched or something like that. Something along those lines. You select it up, down, deselect, select all. Yeah, like this. So, I believe it's, once you get the gnarler, you can also unlock this one as well. If I believe that's correctly. Unselect. Unnest. Okay. So, after this one, you'll be able to... Get that one... Gotta hop the gaps. Let's get the water coaster in there as well. And you can get the uh, cascade. Actually, let's deselect all Viper 1. It's gonna go with the these. And we're gonna go nest selected. I still want to have stuff of already available in here. Skywatcher. Mouse. The Bolt. Steel Hydra. We're just kind of going through this for like whatever we want at the moment. Where'd my nests go? Did it throw them in here? Looks like it did. I don't know why it did that. I must have did something wrong. There we go. Okay, so we'll add that selection here. And this one can go here. There we go. And this roller coaster can already be here. Alright. So. And we'll make that unavailable. So, there we go. Research is good. Max come campaigns. Let's go five. Staffing. I'm running out of time, yo. I'm running out of time. There aren't any bathrooms in this park. Well, you'll have to figure that out for yourself. That's going to be part of the challenge. <laughs> staff features on... <clears throat> so, whether you need to use staff buildings or not, so you can turn that on or off if you want it. <clears throat> we'll keep everything at default. Even this out just a little bit for the adults, teenagers, and families. And you can see how wealthy they are just for the sake of getting through stuff. We're just going to go ahead and leave all that uh, kind of like at the default right now. So that works, and um, yeah, so you're going to have to add a bathroom at the beginning since we don't have any. All right, now we're going to have to add um, a pathway leading up to the park from the DS spawn. And then, because we're so original, we're just going to make this a tunnel entrance. And here they come. 
All right, we're going to add a couple more nature stuff here. All right, let's get a couple of different kinds of trees in here. And just like that, we have ourselves a scenario. All right, we got the peep spawner and a small park <clears throat> with limited amount of space. Let's try it out. My first scenario, my first um, kind of scenario park here. All right, park save. We'll just call it window, window series, save, save scenario. All right, now we're going to play it for, for realsies. I probably won't, I'm not going to complete it or anything. I just want to see how it is and uh, going into an actual scenario like it's a scenario. So we're going to go to play. And then my parks, question mark, I would assume. My scenarios, there we are. Play scenario. And then we can still edit it as well. We're gonna play this and I am going to dominate my own scenario that I built. All we gotta do is attract more guests. All right, so it loads pretty fast. A player create. I didn't add any like <laughs> description. That's okay. Park is open. I also didn't open up anything either. Or set like ticket prices or anything. But we can open the roller coaster. I guess not yet. I wanted to. I guess it has to complete a test run first. I suppose that makes sense, sort of. <sighs> Whatever. So can I like tell these guys to go on a break? Select vendor. Waiting for customers to serve. It's nice, because now you can actually go into park management. I said to the money where it's unlimited di dynamic. Oh, well. <laughs> but now you can actually place the vendors in here and they can actually walk around. Isn't that cool? So we got a beautiful park. Again, I, I didn't make the adjustments I should have, but I'm going to fast forward here. I accidentally made it to where we have unlimited money by accident. Let's see, if they're going to get some food or drinks here, let's see if they sit down in one of the park the benches. Yeah, they do. Look at that. Look at them go. Having a good grand old time at the picnic benches. That's so cool. And they're all in a group, so they'll sit together. That's really neat. See how excited people... Can I open as the checklist is incomplete? Connect entrance to path. Oh, I never connected the entrance to the path. Oops. There we go. See, I forgot a couple things. Open up a couple of rides. And the guests are going to swarm in here, I I tell you. Heading to shop. Which shop are you headed to? Are you going to go take a break or are you going to... Oh, you're going to replace someone here, aren't you? Are 
You're gonna replace this guy, Chief Beef? Yeah, you are. Yeah! Swap. Really cool now. Is he taking a break now? Looks like it. He's gonna go take a break real quick. See ya. <laughs> but awesome though. Alright. I am crunched on time, so I'm going to have to leave it at this. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed the live stream and uh, all the new content. If you have the game, go enjoy the content. And uh, hopefully you got an idea of what's in the new content or what's new in this um, in this update. I'm very excited to create my own awesome scenarios uh, fully in detail. This was just an example park. I'm not going to upload it or anything. It's, it's nothing huge. Uh, I would have to change all the stuff, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to head to work and, uh, probably stay up all night when I get home, uh, playing this. So, but I like the update so far. I think it's going to be a huge game changer with way you can, uh, swap trains and everything now. Ho uh, hopefully in the future, they'll expand that a little bit more. Um, they're a little bit more or less, uh, uh, limits now, uh, as well. And I love the scenario editor. Be sure to check out. I'm going to be creating some really cool scenarios in the future. Might even create some Westwood scenarios and stuff like that, uh, as well. So you guys can play those for yourself. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe for more awesome content like this. And I will catch you guys next time. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Even cooler tomorrow. Almost forgot um, what I'm doing here. So uh, I'm actually going to stall for 30 more seconds so I can make this officially two hours long. So let me let me stare at you for a second. <laughs> that's the way you stall. You just stare at people for a second, and uh, and that's how it works. But anyways, I will catch you guys next time. Have fun with the update. I know I will later on, and I can't wait to create my own scenarios. Thanks, guys, and goodbye. Where's the black screen?